dugsiga boarding ka iyo maalinlaha ah ee amano amano boarding and hello for once welcome to our today's video lesson in our today's video lesson under the same topic trigonometric ratios we'll see additional uh, examples let us see the first example the example says a ladder that is 20 feet as you can see the length of the ladder is given which is 20 feet long is leaning against the side of a building again is the side of a building if the angle formed between the ladder and the ground is 75 degrees then how far is the bottom of the ladder from the base of the building this is the question now we're asked to find the distance from the bottom of the ladder to the building what is given here 20 feet length ladder and an angle whose degree measure is 75 degrees formed by the horizontal or the ground and the ladder so to find this or to solve uh, word problems we have steps that we need to follow the first step is read and understand the problem after reading and understanding the problem the second step will be finding or identifying or classifying what is given and what is required after that we prepare or we form an equation which will help us to solve the problem okay now let us see what we have given here is a ladder with 20 feet length so that you can draw the ladder here assume that this is the ladder whose length is 20 feet and we have given an angle whose degree measure is 75 degrees it says if the angle formed between the ladder and the ground the ground is here this is the ground okay this is the ground here we have the ground and the angle formed between the ladder and the ground is 75 degrees here we have 75 degrees angle and from the first it says a ladder that is 20 feet long is leaning against the side of a building we have a building so the building is here the building is here as you can see from this diagram the building here is given and this one is the ladder which is 20 feet and then an angle formed by the ground and the ladder is 75 degrees so that this gives us a right angled triangle a right angled triangle so we can draw the triangle here the right angled triangle assume that this is the right angled triangle the right angle is at this point which is formed by the side the ground and then the other side is the building so this one is the ladder the ladder which is 20 feet so that let's write the given quantities here 20 feet which is the length of the ladder and then what is given an angle is given here angle theta is given which is 75 degrees here we have 75 degrees angle now the question is the question is how far it says how far is the bottom of the ladder from the base of the building how are we going to find this that means how far the bottom of the ladder the bottom of the ladder is here and the base of the building the base of the building is here so we are asking to find the distance from this point to this point so what relationship do we have for this side and the angle given by 75 degrees it is adjacent side it's adjacent side so this is a a. now again here we have the 20 feet ladder what is this 20 feet ladder in this right angle the triangle it is the longest side which is the hypotenuse opposite to the right angle so that this is h the hypotenuse now in our previous videos we have seen trigonometric ratios sine cosine and tangent using the three special names given in a right angle the triangle those three special names given for three sides now here we have adjacent and hypotenuse which trigonometric ratios use these adjacent and hypotenuse it is cosine so cosine of the given angle 
the angle is 75 degrees so cos of 75 degrees is equal to adjacent by definition we have seen this last time adjacent divided by the hypotenuse h adjacent divided by the hypotenuse h so we have cos 75 what is cos 75 here we have given sine 75 which is 0 0.97 cos 75 which is 0 0.26 and tan 75 is 3.73 for the time being we use this cos 75 because we have the three trigonometric ratios but in this case we use only cosine because adjacent and hypotenuse are given so cos 75 is 0 0.26 on your calculator you can read as maybe it is greater than this number of digits like more than two three but round round the digits to two uh, uh, digits two decimal places so we have cos 75 given by 0 0.26 is equal to adjacent the adjacent side is not known we are asked to find here it says how far is the bottom of the ladder that means the bottom of the ladder is here from the base of the building that is this distance so that is adjacent it's not given the question is the adjacent a divided by the hypotenuse which is given by 20 feet okay so to use the cross multiplication we give denominator 1 for this 0 0.26 now multiply this using the cross multiplication what is a times 1 that is a the adjacent the adjacent and 0 0.26 open bracket and you multiply 0 0.26 by 20 feet 20 feet so to multiply this use your calculator how can we use our calculator Here we have our calculator. Okay, the value given here is 0 0.26. So enter 0 0.26, then times, times 20, which is equal to 5.2, 5.2. So the adjacent A, which is given in this right angle, the triangle is 5.2 feet. So this 5.2 feet is, the length or the distance between this that is the foot of the ladder and the base of the building the base of the building this is the first uh, example that we used applying the trigonometric uh, ratios now let us see the second example okay in this example it says a rectangular gate is three meter wide we have a rectangular gate the width is given by three meter and the angle formed by the width and the diagonal the width and the diagonal is 60 degrees 60 degrees so how high is the gate actually this is practical problem real life problem that we are going to apply using trigonometric uh, ratios these trigonometric ratios now what we have given here is a rectangular gate as you can see assume that this is the rectangular gate okay and the width of this rectangular gate is given by three meters here we have given three meters so the width is here which is three meters and we have given an angle which is formed by the width that is this one this line is the width and the diagonal diagonal we defined last time diagonal is a line that joins two opposite vertices in a given polygon two opposite vertices in a given polygon so the diagonal in this case is the line that joins these two opposite vertices the two opposite vertices so the angle now that we are talking about is formed by this width and the diagonal which is this angle so the degree measure of this angle is given by 60 degrees six zero degrees now the question is how high is the gate we are asked to find the height of the gate that is this length we are asked to find this length as you can see here this diagonal divides this rectangular gate into two equal right angled triangles right angled triangles so from these two right angled triangles let us use this one to determine or to find the height of the gate the height of the gate okay as you can see here this is the right angled triangle 
is the right angle the triangle one of the legs is given by three meters and the angle formed by one of the legs and the hypotenuse is 60 degrees we are asking this the height h of the gate which is the opposite side for this 60 degrees angle now h is for the height of the gate but in our trigonometry now trigonometric ratio we use this side as the opposite side for this 60 degrees so it is o which is opposite and then this one is the hypotenuse we don't need to use it but this is the adjacent side for the 60 degree angle adjacent side we defined adjacent side as the side which joins the two angles which angles the given angle and the right angle we call it adjacent side now which trigonometry from the three sine cosine and tangent which one are we going to use applying this opposite and adjacent opposite and adjacent that is tangent so tan of an angle a given angle the angle is given here which is 60 degrees tan of 60 degrees is equal to opposite divided by adjacent opposite divided by adjacent so what is tan 60 here as you can see we have given sine 60 cosine 60 and tan 60 as i said if you want to find the value of tan 60 on your calculator press the button turn and then enter 60 degrees so that you can find the value which is 1.7 not actually the exact value is 1.73 but we rounded these two two decimal uh, places it is it is approximately 1.72 and then when you round it to two decimal places you can get this 1.73 so tan 60 is 1.73 right 1.73 which is equal to opposite divided by the adjacent side is given by three meters three meters after this as we did in example one we'll do the same thing here using the cross multiplication the opposite side times one is o which is the opposite side which is equal to 1.73 open bracket which is the value of tan 60 1.73 times three meters which is the width of the given rectangular gate so the opposite side which is the height of the gate given by or marked by o is equal to 1.73 times uh, 3 meters so we use our calculator to multiply and find the two values so as you can see here we have given 1.73 1.73 times 3 which is equal to 5.19 so we come and then write here 5.19 5.19 meters so this is the height of as you can see this is the height of the gate the height of the gate which is marked by o which is the opposite side which is the opposite side